Alright. I've always been one super competitive and and two, I've always just loved the game so much. Um, had so much passion for it, I had so much fun. And uh, it's something that I could do every single day and just not get tired of. And so um, that hasn't changed one bit. You know, now, now obviously my goals and stuff have become um, more realistic and more in sight than they were at that point. At that point it was more of a dream and something that is so far away that you can't really, you know, you can't really judge what it's going to be like, but um, yeah, it, it, I'm the exact same person and nothing's really changed. I can't remember the first time playing basketball. I've always, I've always did it. My mom and dad told me my auntie got me a hoop when I was probably, you know, not even one, one years old, and I can, I was shooting on it and stuff like that. So I, I've always, you know, wanted to, wanted to play basketball at high level. It's been uh, unbelievable because, you know, coming from Canada where you can't really watch NCAA games uh, in person, that was a big goal of mine was to go to uh, an NCAA school and play. And so then uh, to finally get here, you know, playing a couple games, it'd be extremely nervous. And then um, it's been a great, great journey. And it's something that I've always wanted to do my entire life. It's something that I've worked so hard for. And uh, it's been exactly actually has been more than I could have imagined and it's been a great stepping stone for me in the, the rest of my career and the rest of my life. It's crazy, you know, coming in as a freshman and me and Kevin, we, we didn't know each other at all. You know, we came in and we clicked automatically all, all four or five of us. It was, you know, Spangler, me, Kevin, uh, Kyle, and Sarbaugh. So now it's just three of us and, you know, we said we were going to finish here and we did it, you know, me and Kevin and, and, and Kyle four years, we're brothers for life, and the final three, that's what we call us. Friend for life, 100%. Like I said, it's some, he's a guy I share so many memories with, and um, you know, you go to battle with a guy like that every single night, and you can't build a relationship with anyone else uh, that strong, so, you know, GB's a, a one-of-a-kind guy, and um, so lucky to play with him. You know, with Silas and, and Josh and the younger core, I just kind of want to leave, you know, my blueprint of playing hard and, you know, being selfless and putting the team first, because I feel like that, that's what you're going to need to, you know, go far. And we're doing it this year. Everybody's kind of, you know, being selfless and trying to be a, a team player. You know, I've taught Josh that that we're so different, um, but we can learn from each other in a different way. And he's so skilled, and I'm excited for people to see how skilled he really is. Um, but more than anything, I, I've tried to pass on, you know, the leadership, the uh, emotion, um, the how to just carry yourself on the court when things aren't going well, when things are going great, um, how to communicate with your teammates, because all that stuff is, is so important and goes into, into winning and into building relationships. Coach Few has talked to me, you know, about, you know, talking with Silas and Josh and telling them, you know, the zag way. I try to lead by example, but I have to be more vocal with them and, 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 and you know, and show them the ropes. And I feel like I did a good job this year doing that. I'm big on legacy and just memories on how, you know, games that I've played or uh, impacts I've had on people's lives or um, just I want people to remember me in a, in a good way and, uh, and reflect back and say, you know, those were a great four years, the years that, uh, Myself and GB were here, um, and you know that's really important to me. And uh, you know that's more important than MVPs or trophies or medals or anything like that. And then uh, obviously you just want to win at the end. Guys come back for a reason because it's a special place. And so uh, I know I'm going to be back to the kennel for games. I won't be suiting up, but um, I'm going to stay a part of this organization forever. You know, once you're done with basketball, you know. You're gonna have a tie somewhere with Gonzaga, and it's nice to know that because you know I don't know what I'm gonna do after this, but I know if I if I need something, these guys will will do anything to help me. Here come the Zags. Pangos, five seconds, drives, runner, go! You know you have to enjoy moments and and uh, 
mile markers along the way, but at the same time, you can't lose sight of what you're, you're working towards. Um, because if you, you appreciate it too much and stop working, then you're not gonna get any better and move any further. But if you don't enjoy and, and appreciate moments, then what's the point, right? So you, you do have to sometimes sit back and reflect and look at you know, how special this place is, the fans, the, uh, the kennel, all that kind of stuff. But at the same point, we're still working towards uh, a big goal. And so right now we have a couple weeks left and we're just gonna keep on working towards that mission and, and keep on getting better every day. Every team I've been on, we've had a, a blast and everybody's been tight. So Gonzaga, it's just a, a family, a family type program. They're saying that, you know, we can be possibly the, the best team at Gonzaga. Well, we're not. We, I've, I've never got, you know, past the, the first weekend. There's teams that went to Elite Eight, so how are we better than them? You know, that, that's, that's how I figure. We, we can, we can get there this year, but we haven't got there yet, and we've got to wait and see. One, it's a special group that uh, has so many great guys, so many great players. You know, the coaching staff is awesome, and uh, I would love to say that I'm a part of that uh, such and such team that made it to this far in the, in the tournament, and that that to me would be awesome. Um, way better than any three-point record or any anything like that. Um, and also, it, it, more than just saying it, it's, it's being a part of something that's special and you, you have a connection with the, the group for life. Um, you know, if, if we make it super far, we'll have that memory to share with each other for forever. And you know, no one can take that.